Hello there, and welcome to the Netherlands. More precisely, to a place called Maaskantje, a village that is known for absolutely nothing. <laughs> but then, one day, a quite controversial TV show hit the screens. Of course, I'm talking about New Kids, a show that first was aired in 2007 on the Dutch TV channel 101 TV, in 2010 a movie followed and another one in 2011. New Kids tells the story of five proletarian guys who bring the absolute chaos to the home village Maskantje. The humor of the TV show and movies is so gross and so dark and so borderline that I really wasn't sure if I should actually make this video. But well, it's my job, so... I think it's time to do what we have to do. Let's find the famous shooting locations of this controversial production and let's find out if Maskantje really is that dangerous. <laughs> let's go! Das Ziel befindet sich auf der rechten Seite. So, I just arrived at the first shooting location for today, which also might be one of the most important ones. It's the parking space where the boys always hang around and which is shown several times in the movies and in the series. Um, I'm standing on this parking space right now with my own car. Let's see how it looks like in reality. Yep, and here it is, the famous parking lot from New Kids. And I hope you're ready for the big moment. This is how it looks like in reality. And we can see something has changed. They obviously renovated the parking lot within the past years. And the biggest change might actually be that there used to be only one driveway to get on the parking lot when they shot the movie. Today there are two driveways, one on the right side where I'm standing and one on the left side. I will show you more of that later. But we can see that we're at exactly the same place. We can see those houses in the background. Here in reality we can also see the church tower because it's still spring and there are not so many leaves on the trees. But some things have changed on the parking space itself. For example on the left side we can see a new children's playground. In the past there used to be one with uh, like green grass and stuff like that. It looks totally different today. On the right side in the past we had a basketball hoop which is gone meanwhile. Instead, there are some benches and stuff like that. And in the middle of the parking space, we can see a charger for electric cars, something that didn't really exist 10 to 13 years ago. And this is the reverse shot of the scene. Gary van Boven is standing right in front of this living house over here. And we can see everything still looks exactly the same like in the movie. The door is still the same, the windows are still the same, even the small tree on the right side is still standing there and even the small electricity box on the right side is still here. Pretty well conserved, right? <laughs> well, and then Gary von Boven is getting hit by a car, by Rickert's car and all of that has been filmed right here at this road crossing. And if we take a closer look at the background, we can see something is different. There is some kind of a grey greenish building you can see in the movie scene on the right side. And this building obviously is gone. There also used to be some bushes in front of this building and a tree. All of that is not here anymore. And I tried to find out why that is. And my theory is that they built a brand new school building here. The building you can see on the right side of the picture here in reality is a primary school, the primary school Fonke. And this new building obviously was built between the years 
I guess 2010 and 2014. Because if we take a closer look on Google Street View in the year 2009, we can still see this very old and ugly school building that we can also see in the movie scene. So my theory is that this used to be the old primary school and then they built a bigger and more fancy building right at this place. Here we have Rickert and his car and here we have a good view on the parking space once again and here we can also see what I told you about a few seconds ago. The parking space today has two driveways. In the past there was only one driveway but everything else in the street actually looks exactly like in the movie. This is the funny policeman who I guess dies several times in the series and in one of the movies I guess. Well and this scene has been filmed right over here. Here we have the TV reporter and his cameraman. That scene has been filmed from over here and also here we can see not that much has changed. In this scene we can see the parking space from a different angle. Here's Barry peeing against the tree. Uh, that has been filmed from over here and uh, on this scene we can see quite good on the left side of the parking space there used to be a children's playground that looks totally different today which obviously also belongs to the school. In this scene we can see the children's playground in close up because in this scene we can see the food delivery guy right in front of it. And that has been filmed from over here. Looks totally different today. Here we have the basketball hoop that in the past used to stand on the right side of the parking space. Now it's on the left side. And we have the children's uh, playground uh, equipment in the background. But I have to say it looked a bit more friendly in the past, right? And if the food delivery guy was standing right in front of the playground, then this scene has been filmed from over here. We can still see those houses in the background that we can also see in the movie scene, even though the parking space looks totally different today. The next place on our list is the famous snack bar that you can see in the movies a lot of times. But what you don't really see in the movie or at least you have to take a really close look is that the snack bar is actually right next to the parking space. Over there. Yeah, or should I say it used to be here? Unfortunately I have to disappoint you. The famous snack bar from New Kids is gone. They built a brand new building here. It still has the same name, it's still the same snack bar, but the building is a totally different one. If we go back in time on Google Street View, in the year 2018, this old building still existed, but you can see here it already had a different painting. And now in 2023, it's demolished and there is a brand new snack bar building here. But if we take a closer look at the scenes, we can see it's not only the snack bar that's gone, also a street is gone. You see that? If you take a look at uh, the movie scene, there is a street on the right side and they obviously removed the street to build this new school building and area around it. We can also see that on Google Street View on a recording from 2009, there is a street between the snack bar and the school and today this street doesn't exist anymore. However, not that much has changed in the reverse shot of this scene. Here we can see the whole crew with their weapons at the end of the movie, a New Kids Turbo, that has been filmed from over here. And here we can see the parking lot on the left side and also this living house on the right side of the picture that still exists today. Only the snack bar on the left side of the picture is gone. Here we can see the snack bar once again in all its glory that has been filmed from over here. The snack bar is gone and what we can also see is this village is much more peaceful and quiet than in the movie. Nothing dangerous here. <laughs> Here's the snack bar and the parking space all together in one picture and that is how it looks like here today. Here's a scene from inside the snack bar. We can look through the windows and that has been filmed from over here. And this is 
the last scene I want to show you from this place, also one of the last scenes of the movie, Rickard is losing his virginity right in front of this fence. And also this fence doesn't exist anymore. It obviously was torn down, but also the snack bar was torn down. But also this fence we can still see on Google Street View. It should be exactly that fence over here. Yeah, but before we leave this place, there is still one thing you should know. All of those scenes I just showed you in the movie and in the series show the village of Mashkantje, as you might know. But in reality, all of those scenes I just showed you are not in the village of Mashkantje. This place I'm standing right here is a place called Den Dungen, a village right next to Maskantje. Only a very few scenes have been shot in the real Maskantje, and most of the scenes have been shot in Den Dungen. And that also applies for the next filming location I want to show you today. I just arrived in a small, quiet living area, which only in reality is a small, quiet living area, because in the movie New Kids Turbo, this is the place where the living house is standing of one of the boys, and when the police comes, you know, the chaos begins. Uh, let's see how it looks like today in reality. And here it is, the famous living house from the movies, and this is how it looks like today in reality. And once again, we can say pretty well preserved, right? What's different is there is no motorcycle anymore right in front of the house. Today, there is a bed with flowers. Also on the right side of the house, there is a bed with flowers that hasn't been here while they shot the movie. What we can see is they changed the door of the house and they also renovated or at least painted the windows of the house. In the past, they used to be white. Today, they are black. There's a car in front of the house today with a cat on it. <laughs> Hello there. And while they shot the movie, obviously, there used to be some kind of a tree on the right side of the house that obviously isn't here anymore. This is the reverse shot of the scene. Rickert is standing in front of the house and we can see all of those houses in the background. And if we take a closer look, they still look like they did in the movie. However, I think they have been painted within the past years because at least the house in the middle looks a bit bluer than in the movie. In this scene, we can have a closer look at the neighborhood, which looks like this in the movie and this is how it looks like in reality since this is private property i have to stay on the footpath but what we can see is that in the movie um, the neighbors had a quite fancy garden with a lot of bushes and flowers and also a fountain or something like that it looks a little bit different today in this scene, we can see the police officers standing on this parking space right over here. And that is how the neighborhood looks like today. In this scene, the famous new kid's car is towed and Rickert is trying to catch the truck and obviously fails. And all of that has been filmed from over here. What we can see is the house on the right side has changed a little bit. On the left side of the house, there is some kind of a new, I don't know, is that an entrance or a garage or something? Anyway, this thing hasn't been here while they shot the movie. Rickard is crying, that has been filmed from over here. And obviously, on the left side of the road, they did some changes on the parking spaces. Uh, at least it looks like it. They removed one or two parking spaces for this thing, whatever that is. And this is the last scene I want to show you from this place. In this scene, once again, we can see the famous house on the left side, the new kids right in front of it. And on the right side of the picture, we can see some kind of construction site or something in the movie that is gone today. Obviously, it's some kind of a park or a garden or something like that. At least it looks like it. Yeah, but that's the famous New Kids neighborhood. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
Time for a trip to the neighboring village of Mascantier. Here we will find some beautiful flowers, but also the next famous shooting location, which is ah, the gas station. <laughs> and this is it, the famous gas station, even though it looks a little bit different today. In the past, it used to be an Avia gas station. Meanwhile, it's a Tango gas station. And they did not only change the brand of the gas station, they obviously also changed the gas pumps and also this little roof you can see here. But we can see that this is exactly the place. We can still see this white house on the right side of the picture. The door is a bit different today. And we can also see this red brick house on the left side of the picture, which is also still here in reality. What I find quite interesting about this scene is actually the guys fill up their car and afterwards they go into the gas station to pay for the gas. Well, they can't pay for the gas. That's the whole plot of the movie, right? But anyway, they go into the gas station to pay for their gas. I think that's quite unusual in the Netherlands, isn't it? As far as I know, most of the gas pumps have like little machines right next to it where you just put your credit card in and then you fill up your car and afterwards you can just drive away. I also know this from many other European countries, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, they all have those little machines right next to the gas pumps and you actually never walk into the gas station to pay for your gas. The only country where it's really different is Germany, my home country, where you really fill up your car and then you go into the gas station and pay for it afterwards. So my question is to all of my Dutch viewers, is this something that has changed within the past 10 to 13 years? Was it still common in the year 2010 to walk into the shop to pay for your gas? Would be interesting to know. Maybe write a comment down below. And here's the gas station from a different perspective. And well, here we can see they obviously changed the roof of the gas station, but the houses around the gas station are still the same, even though the house on the right side obviously has new windows. And this is the last scene I want to show you from this place. The guys fill up their car and that has been filmed from over here. We can still see this little garage on the left side of the picture that is still here in reality. So, now it's time for the great showdown and in the movie New Kids Turbo it happens at a church. A church that you can also see a lot of times in the background of the movie. So it wasn't that hard to find it. There it is right outside the window. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> yeah, this is the famous church we can see in the movie and that is how it looks like in reality. This is the so-called Jacobus de Merdere church and it still looks the same today just like the street and all the houses around it. The only thing that is different is there is no town entry sign that says Marskantje. And well, I think it has never been here because this place you see right here and also the church is not standing in Marskantje. It's also standing in Den Dungen, the neighboring village of Marskantje. So I think this town entry sign has never been at this place. However, there is a quite funny story about those town entry signs because the real signs of Marskantje have been stolen a lot of times by new kids fans so that a few years back the village decided not to replace them anymore and there have been times when the village of Marskantje didn't have any town entry signs. However, when I visited the village, I found one, but it looks a bit different than other town entry signs in other villages. It's covered with fan art and stickers and stuff like that. Yeah, apparently a lot of new kids fans still come to visit this famous village. Here's another scene from The Great Showdown that has been filmed from over here. The area still looks the same. There is a butcher on the left side of the picture. And on the right side, there is a quite historic house. And obviously there are some construction works going on at the moment at this house. Obviously it needs some renovation. 
here's Manuela, who always does the best for her unborn child, with another irritating scene right in front of this wall right here. It's the wall of the church. Right behind it, there's the cemetery and Manuela standing right in front of it. And here's Rickard bringing back the kids to Manuela. That has been filmed from over here. You can see the doors of the church have been painted, but everything else still looks exactly the same like in the movie. So, my shooting location tour is almost over, but before we leave Maskantje, there is one last place I want to show you. It's a place that is not shown in the movies, but is shown in the TV show several times. It's the place where the intro has been shot, and this place is right behind me. This is it, the famous intro scene. The new kids are standing in front of their car. Once again, we have a street sign in the background that says Maskantje. At this place, it should actually be correct because if we just drive a little further down the road, we should actually be in Maskantje, if I see that right. But anyway, this street sign isn't here anymore today. The street in the background, however, hasn't really changed. There is still this house on the left side of the picture that we can also see in the series. There are those trees in front of the house in the middle that are still here. And also the house on the right side of the picture is still here. What isn't here anymore is the house that you actually don't really see in the intro. You just see a little part of it right here in the corner. There used to be a shop for consumer electronics and stuff like that. But this shop today is a construction site and the shop is gone. <laughs> So, that was my shooting location tour of New Kids in the Netherlands. I hope you liked it. If you want to travel all of those places yourself, if you like to know the addresses, then you should check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description. There you will get exclusive stuff and new videos before everyone else and also the addresses of all the places I showed you today in this video. If you liked this video, then please leave a thumbs up and you can also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming shooting location tour. But that's it for today. Have a safe journey and see you next time.